Hey YouTubians, it's Tony here from We Try Anything Channel. Let's try anything so you don't have to. In today's video, what we're going to take a look at, we're going to take a look at the Casio W89H, which has a module number of 1536. In this video, what we're going to do, which is, norm, which is normal with the We Try Anything watch reviews, what we'll do is we'll take a look around the actual watch that's featured here. We'll talk about some of the materials um, that this watch has, uh, show you just a quick overview of some of the functions, because we will be releasing a tutorial video on this watch very soon. Pop it on our wrist and say what it's like to wear. So straight away, what you can see that this watch, it is an eBay purchase. Now, as I say, on a lot of the reviews that I do for eBay purchased watches is that the reason why I purchase watches from eBay sometimes a some some of them are um, are quite interesting in the way they look and obviously you might not be able to get them in the usual shops like Amazon and Argos in the UK and stuff like that and um, B it shows how they wear and um, like for example in this example here you can see the kind of little knocks and scrapes that this watch has picked up so you'll get an idea of how these watches wear over time and see they're a little bit cheaper but not always because what I find with some eBay purchases is that some of the straps are not standard and stuff like that and if you really do want an authentic Casio watch you do end up spending a bit more on um, as it were putting a new battery and getting the right strap and stuff like that so sometimes it's a false economy but the main reason is that I, I like to show how these watches wear what I will say is if you are interested in a newer version of this watch which doesn't I mean I think it has got a slightly different um, dial as it were or the back or the actual outer area of the dial where this is uh, like a dark grey I think this one's got like a brighter like a, a beige kind of colour Um, you can obtain these watches via Amazon brand new but otherwise if you are after something like, like it's already been knocked and stuff like that then yes you can get it off eBay now uh, this watch is available as I've just mentioned this watch is available in a few different colors and different styles and um, I've just shown you an, uh, an example or an example or two uh, just here but with this one it is quite an interesting one where this one has is meant to have a um, what would be a nylon and leather strap and this one has a very non-standard strap which I have found from time to time it does come with certain Casios that you do buy second hand uh, it doesn't detract from the look of it but it just bear in mind that this probably isn't the most standard of straps that you would get with a Casio so I won't feature the strap too much I'll just talk about the inner lug size just to give you an idea if you were to buy another strap for this watch so talking about the actual watch itself it is a plastic construction so the plastic or like a plastic resin to the case so for example you do have a um, plastic like quite a hard plastic to the bezel which in this color in this one is a slight slight difference to what I've normally seen in Casio with this one being brown the, the actual outer part of the case is how what would be like a silver effect as such but as you can see that the paint is starting to as it were wear away so you can just see the plastic resin underneath which is quite interesting this watch also features what would be two push it metal pushes to the left here and it also features a push up for the light which I'll show you in a minute um, in terms of sizes for the resin case you're looking at a diameter of 45 millimeters top to bottom or what would be known as lug to lug you are looking at uh, what would be 47.6 millimeters the actual case thickness so from the uh, stainless steel back to the what would be the spherical glass dial window you are looking at 12.2 now as I said the strap isn't standard so I'm not going to I'm going to not talk much about this strap but in terms of the actual size I have used that what's known as a, a digital meter or vernier and it's giving me an idea it says 19 millimeters uh, in terms of width here and I've also measured this here where the strap has a like a, an inner part so you can just fit it within the actual pins and it's 16 millimeters now it isn't a heavy watch by any stretch of the imagination and you are looking at around 35 grams in weight now as i said it is a plastic construction or what would be known as a plastic resin construction the uh, dial window is a spherical resin glass so what you'll notice is that as you can see here with me zoomed in you do notice that you do have like little scratches and stuff and I have used an amount of poly watch on this which has got rid of a lot of scratches um, but you will still I mean it does it will take a lot longer just to get rid of these but it has worked on this watch quite well hence why it's very nice and shiny on the dial window now as I've mentioned the actual back is a what would be a 
stainless steel back to it which indicates obviously that it is just water resistant the only thing i just need to cut in and say that even though it does say water resistance i've just checked on the front and it does say it's got a water resistance of 50 meters or what would be known as five bar and also i've checked on the casio website it does say that it is 50 meters as well so um just ignore what i've said about it being water resistant it is a bit more water resistant than what it states on the back as you can see the actual display is quite interesting from casio and this display is powered by a quartz movement which is plus and minus 30 seconds per month and it is backed up by a five year from new battery now as i say this does has it has a quite a nice layout to this watch um in terms of the actual uh display as such it's it's nicely separated it's not all as one encompassing um dial as it were so obviously you've got the time underneath which is uh interestingly 3 33 pm um and there is no indicator of oh there is there sorry I'm, i'll talk about that in a minute i'm being silly and you do have your day and date within there so you've got an easily easy reference to whatever day you are on or whatever date you are in within the month and the time is quite legible i mean it's not the biggest of lcd fonts uh for the actual dial but again the way it's laid out you know straight away dates there times there then there's no anything in the way now what you do have with this watch as well you do have what's indicated or well, what's mentioned there as a mode indicator which will show you say for example i'll show you the 12 and 24 hour option which will show you just the the functions of the watch that are active or semi-active or whatever function you are in you know what it is doing at the time so if i put it back to pm so it's back to 12 hours so as i say 12 and 24 hours this watch has and also just while i think about it it does have a what would be known as an auto calendar so it takes into account account like um 28 days in february and stuff like that so you know even though it is a, a fairly simplistic watch it does have a little few extra functions that you would get over something that's a bit cheaper um now the other thing to notice is that this watch does only have two metal pushers and that's quite interesting really because a lot of casios to tend to have three maybe four or if it is even the f91w if i remember it does have three but obviously you've got to remember it does have that light pusher here now talking of the actual light the light is an electroluminescent light which is a green and blue backlight which has a delay of 1.5 seconds i believe 1 to 1.5 seconds and i believe that's what casio would call as afterglow so all you need to do is just obviously press that and it's not it's not showing up in the studio lighting here but I, i'm just showing you a little clip of how it would look in semi-darkness and it's it's all right you, you can read the time it's not the brightest of things not like the w86h which is you know it's a nice blue vivid backlight but this one you know it is it does work within the darkness and it does help you read the time um as i said it's got an auto calendar but some of the actual functions of this watch as i say are simplistic but you've got a few so in this instance you've got what would be at the alarm which is a daily alarm and hourly time signal which can be set as you can see if i was to set the alarm you can see and or the early signal or just have them both on you can see that they're nicely represented by that graphic how can i say that graphic mode indicator going on here um and i'll just turn them both off so otherwise it'll go off at 12 midnight the other thing you have is a stopwatch function which um if you set it off will read a hundredth of a second and has a measuring capacity of 59 minutes 59 seconds and 99 hundredths of a second in terms of you know what it what it go, will go up to and it also measures the elapsed time which you can see here it will do a split time as such as well and you can record first and second time places and if you want to find out more about that then please look out for the tutorial on this watch which is coming very soon so i'll just stop that and reset it which is reset by the like button interestingly and really i believe other than you can do uh, timekeeping mode and adjusting the time that's it really that's all there is to this watch and that's probably what might make it appeal to a lot more people than other more fancier watches out there because a it's very well laid out very easy to read and also there's not many functions that could confuse you or anything like that it is just simple in its operation so what i'm going to do i'm going to pop it on my wrist and say what this watch is like to wear 
Now here it is on the wrist, and as you can see, it is it is quite nice, really. I mean, don't get me wrong, I do think that black band or that black resin strap does add to it, but in terms of comfort, I'm going to ignore that because it's not the most supplest of straps, so it, which will make me think that it's probably not been worn much. Hence, it's probably fairly new to this, um, as it were, this watch. But what would normally accompany this watch would be like a a nylon stroke leatherette sort of uh, watch which i'm just quickly showing you here so that would add aid in its term of comfort but saying that i mean the actual dot uh, the actual um case itself isn't the biggest of cases at uh, what would be 45 millimeters in diameter so it's, it doesn't inhibit hand movement or anything like that and i quite like the way it looks in terms of you know it's just its layout and its simplicity of what's going on within the dial i mean it might not appeal to people who have um, like slightly deteriorating eyesight where it's not the biggest in terms of um, sizes of font for the actual time. But it is, it is, I would say it's quite appealing really because it is, the layer is very strict in the way that's your date, that's your time. It's separated so it's easy to read and there's your functions of what you have going on with the watch uh, listed here. And the actual light button is quite easy to um, operate but I do read some of the reviews where they say it's not the easiest thing but I haven't really had a problem with this but that might be because it is a bit of a, a well used example here. But in terms of you know the actual aesthetics of the watch I do like it. Um, as I say it would probably be better with that what would be the um, the original band that you would get with this watch but no it's quite a nice watch in terms of how it looks and how it feels just summing up really it is a nice looking watch it doesn't have a load of functions but to some people that that may appeal to some people because not everyone wants a, a function packed watch they just want a, something that will tell, tell the time you know have an alarm to set maybe a bit of a stopwatch for timing something and just keep it as easy as that and i would say if you are looking for a watch that's easy just simple to read the time from and the date etc then consider the casio w89h and i will be doing a tutorial video on this watch i mean it's not the most uh, complex of watches but it will help in terms of how to operate this watch correctly so i hope you like the review and if you did then click on the thumbs up icon it really does help the channel if you want to see more videos coming from the we try anything channel click on the subscription button below and thank you for watching this video and we look forward to seeing you next time goodbye